Hello everyone, this might be a very unusual video for those of you who don't know and haven't seen the post that I made in the community page on my YouTube channel. I'm currently having COVID and I am in quarantine and while I do feel a little bit better, I still feel not 100%. Please excuse if my voice isn't 100% and uh, yeah, I'm looking like a mess but I'm, as I said, in quarantine, I'm, I'm sitting here long locked up in my home office and I thought why not just quickly record a small little quick look of the smallest item that I have with me at the moment and yeah as I said I do have COVID and I'm probably not going to post any elaborate videos at the moment in the next two weeks unfortunately but there will be another podcast on Patreon as an early access, actually a pretty fun one that I recorded a while back with JT from Karyology and Jet from The Perfect Pack. You can find that on Patreon as an early access, but there will also be a podcast with a Pack Hacker publicly available on my podcast. Today we are doing a quick look on the James brand Alice Slim and the James brand Scissor version. And for those of you who don't know, in some countries and probably also in some states in the US but I'm not 100% sure the knife laws are very strict and in an effort to make carrying some knives that are not prohibited in some countries like in Germany or the UK James Brand created this new version of the Ls, and in Germany or in UK you have these rules where it says you are only allowed to carry a knife that is two hand operational so no flickable blade um, you have to open it with two hands so like this and it's not allowed to have a lock so James Brand created this Alice that is only openable with two hands and that is not lockable in Germany you also have the regulations in terms of blade length so I'm not 100% sure if this is actually allowed in Germany despite these two new let's call it features of this new Alice which as I said two-handed openable and not lockable but if I am not completely mistaken with these two features and air quotes I believe this is allowed in the UK but due to its length I am fairly certain that this is still not allowed in Germany but I'm not 100% sure on that as I said I'm still having COVID so I didn't do a lot of research so consider this a quick look and yeah it is this slim version of the Alice is in this color Coyote 10 which I really like and it feels very good in your hand it's basically the size of a gum package a little bit a little bit longer probably and i really like that it is so small and compact and yeah although i feel like the blade length will prohibit me to carry this around i think having this in some occasions like doing garden work and stuff like that i feel like yeah it is really cool it has a serrated blade and a straight straight edge blade and serrated which is good to cut like rope or in, for instance but I feel like serrated edges are so difficult to keep in shape I know that you can obviously have this sharpening pins or whatever you call it to get into those serrated things but yeah having a straight blade well, I'm really sorry, but I, I really thought I could record this with COVID, but I do feel a little bit brain foggy. So please excuse if I'm not 100%. Yeah, it is a black blade, which looks really good in combination with this Coyote 10. Well, speaking for a longer period of time with COVID, is I really thought I was much more up to sh in shape, but yeah, I just wanted to drop this quick video and the other version is this ls the scissor version which is basically the same but besides the blade which is a silver version you also have these scissors which is really nice and i feel like scissors are so underrated because they do come in handy in everyday situations quite a lot like getting rid of some thread and you need to cut it 
off, then scissors are much more precise. And yeah, it's definitely cool to have this alternative to the slim Alice. And as you can see, it does add some thickness to the blade, but not by much. Would I go with this Alice scissor version over a Swiss Army knife? Probably not, because this is much more expensive. And the Swiss Army knife obviously has the benefit of having a smaller blade in addition to the longer blade. And I like to use the smaller blade to open boxes. Obviously, you can open boxes with this big blade, but you will mess up this blade with all the glue residue of opening boxes. And that's why I love Swiss Army knives, because I use the smaller blade to open boxes where I don't worry about the blade getting gunked up and dull because of the glue residues and still having a long blade. And with the LSU obviously will mess up the blade with all of the glue. Um, so I would probably not choose the Alice Scissor version over a Swiss Army Knife. However, if I want to keep it very streamlined, very compact and very simple, because the simpler an item is, the less choices you have to make in using this and I feel like just having a blade like this in a very compact form factor is a great EDC tool. In terms of quality, I mentioned this many times before, I'm not that educated in blade steels or the steels be that are used for blades, so I'm not sure if this is a good steel, but for my personal experience, let's say it that way, I feel like this is a very durable and very good blade. You have this scraping tool and flathead screwdriver, but in my experience, I really don't like to use these on either the regular LS or the Alco. I felt like, yeah, it's the angle and the thickness of this really make the very difficult to utilize this in some spots. It's great for tripod plate on the camera, but for let's say other screws, it is not that great to use. As a scraping tool, I don't know what you want to scrape. It's probably fine, but I don't know when I actually would use something to scrape. You have this clip, which is very stiff, but which will make sure that this will stay on your belt or whatever. So yeah, that was a very fast, quick look from me being in a COVID state about these Alice Slim and the Alice Scissors. Personally, I like these a lot. Um, again, I would choose a Swiss Army knife over the Alice Scissors, but I do really like the Alice Slim and I will probably use this in my everyday carry in the future. Um, yeah, let me know in the comment section below what you think about these new Alice version and if you live in a country with strict knife rules, do you think this knife would be allowed um, where you're living at or would you think this is still forbidden to carry around? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you live in a country with very strict knife laws, what kind of knife or multi-tool are you carrying around? Let me know in the comment section below as well. And last but not least, as I said, I still have COVID. I don't know when the next video will be out. Yeah, but if you have any questions, comment below. And if you enjoyed this video, click the like button. And please feel free to subscribe to my channel and click that little bell icon so you won't miss next videos. Also, check out my Instagram, second channel, and podcast at you know the bow. Stay safe and especially stay healthy, everyone. And I see you in the next videos. Thank you very much.